Hello students, welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll solve the math no calculator section of College Board Practice Test 9. So let's begin. Question 1. For the system of equations above, what is the value of x plus y? Okay, so we have 2x minus y is 8 and x plus 2y is 4. So I can find uh, y first by multiplying uh, this equation by 2. So I'll get 2x plus 4y is 8. And then I can subtract this equation from this one. So I'll get minus 5y is 0. So y is 0. And if I put y is 0, I get 2x is 8. So x is 4. So the value of x plus y is 4 plus 0, which is 4. Option B. Which of the following is equivalent to this expression? So I have 2 times x square minus x plus 3 times x square minus x. So that's 5 times x square minus x. So that's 5x square minus 5x. Option A. Which of the following statements is true about the graph of this equation? So I have to comment on the slope and the y-intercept. So I can say 2y is 3x minus 4. So y is 3 by 2x minus 2. So this is the equation in the form of y is mx plus c. So m, the slope is 3 by 2 and the y-intercept is negative 2. So this has a positive slope and negative y-intercept, option D. The front of a roller coaster car is at the bottom of a hill and is 15 feet above the ground. Okay, so let's say this is my hill. This is the front of the roller coaster car and it is 15 feet above the ground. If the front of the roller coaster car rises at a constant rate of 8 feet per second, so it rises at 8 feet per second, which of the following equations gives the height of the front of the roller coaster car s seconds after it starts up the hill? Okay, so in one second, it rises 8 feet. So in s seconds, it would rise 8 s feet, right? And the initial height is 15. So the final height would be 15 plus 8s, which is option A. The equation above gives the amount C in dollars in electrician charges for a job that takes H hours. Ms. Sanchez and Mr. Rowland each hired this electrician. The electrician worked two hours longer on Ms. Sanchez's job than on Mr. Rowland's job. How much more did the electrician charge Ms. Sanchez than Mr. Rollett? Okay, so let's say the electrician worked for X hours at Mr. Rollett's job. So he worked for X plus two hours at Sanchez's job, right? So cost for uh, Rollett would be 75X plus 125. And cost for Sanchez would be 75 times x plus 2 plus 125. So how much more did he charge Sanchez? If we subtract the 2, it would be 75 into 250. So $150. Okay. Um, the circle above has center O. The length of arc ADC is 5 pi and x is 100. What is the length of arc ABC? Okay, so X is 100. So this angle is 100. So this angle will be 260 because it will be 360 minus 100. So the ratio of angle A, arc ADC to uh, arc ABC will be in the same ratio as uh, 100 to 260, right? The angle subtended at the center. So ADC is 5 pi, and we have to find arc ABC. So let's that be X is uh, 5 by 13. So 5 and 5 cancels. X is 13 pi. So arc ABC is 13 pi, option B. 
if 8 by x is 160, what is the value of x? 8 by x is 160. So x is 8 by 160, which is 1 by 20. So that's 0 0.05. Option D. In the equation above, A is a constant. If no value of x satisfies the equation, what is the value of A? Okay, so 2ax minus 15 is 3x plus 15 plus 5x minus 5. So 2ax minus 15 is 8x plus 10. Now for the linear equation to have no solution, the coefficients of x should be equal and the constant term should not be equal. So the constant terms are not equal. So if we equate 2a to 8, which means if a is 4, then this equation will have no solution. So a is 4. A system of three equations is graphed in the xy plane above. How many solutions does the system have? So the system will have a solution when all three equations intersect at a point. So the, all three intersect at this point only, right? This is a common point of intersection for all three because this is only two point two equations. This again is just two equations. So the system has one solution only, this one. The equation above is true for all x where a and b are constants. What is the value of a, b? Okay, so if we uh, open this up, we will get um, 5ax cubed minus abx square plus 4ax plus 15x square minus 3bx plus 12 is equal to the right hand side, right? So the like terms can be brought together 5ax cube plus 15 minus abx squared plus 4a minus 3bx plus 12, right? So this is equivalent to the right hand side. Now I need ab. So I can use the coefficients of x square on both sides. So 15 minus ab should be negative 9. So ab should be uh, 15 plus 9, which is 24. So that's C. Which of the following represents all the possible values of X that satisfy the equation above? Okay. So the first thing I can see is that zero will satisfy this because if I put zero on the left hand side and on the right hand side, I'll get zero. So, so zero definitely is a solution and I can cancel the X's. So I'll get one over X minus three is a one. So X minus three is one. So X is four, right? So the solutions would be zero and four, option B. Which of the following is equivalent to the expression above? So I can write 2x plus 1. So 1 plus 5 times 2x plus 1. So 1 plus 10x plus 5 divided by 2x plus 1. So 10x plus 6 divided by 2x plus 1. Option D. The graph of the function f in the xy plane is a parabola. Which of the following defines the function? So the vertex is 3 comma 1 and the options are in the vertex form. So I can say fx is a times x minus 3 whole squared plus 1, right? And to find a, I can use 2 comma 5. So 5 is a times 2 minus 3 whole squared is 1 plus 1. So a is 4, right? So f of x becomes 4 times x minus 3 whole squared plus 1, uh, option A. For which of the following does the shaded region represent the solution set for the system of inequalities? Okay, so let's first find the corresponding equation. So 
the rising line would be y equal to x plus 2. So this line is y equal to x plus 2. And this would be the falling line because its slope is negative 2 by 3. So this line is 2x plus 3y is 6. Now, y greater than x plus 2 would be the region above this line. So that would be this region, right? And 2x plus 3y less than 6 would be the region below this line. So that will be this region, right? And the solution set will be the region where they intersect. So that happens to be option B, actually. So that's my answer. What is the set of all solutions to this equation? Square root of x plus 2 is negative x. So if I square both sides, x plus 2 is x squared. So x squared minus x minus 2 is 0. So x squared minus 2x plus x minus 2 is 0. So x minus 2 into x plus 1 is 0. So x is 2 or negative 1. Okay, now we need to check uh, whether these solutions would work. So let's start with x equal to 2. The left-hand side would be square root of 4, which is 2. And the right-hand side would be minus 2, right? So x equal to 2 doesn't work. What about x equal to negative 1? The left-hand side would be uh, square root of 1, which is 1. And the right-hand side would be negative of negative 1, which is also 1. So the solution for this is x equal to negative 1 only, option B. What is the volume in cubic centimeters of a right rectangular prism that has a length of 4, width of 9, and a height of 10? So volume of a right rectangular uh, prism is length into breadth into height. So 4 into 9, 36 into 10. 360. If x satisfies the equation above, what is the value of 2x plus 1? Okay, so if I take 2 common, then I have 2x plus 1 is 4. So 2x plus 1 is 4 by 2, which is 2. Uh, the figure above shows the complete graph of the function f in the xy plane. The function g not shown is defined by gx is equal to fx plus 6. What is the maximum value of the function g? Okay, so maximum value of this function is 2. So gx will be 6 units above this, right? So it will be here somewhere. So the maximum value of gx will be 2 plus 6, which is 8. Triangle PQR has a right angle uh, q. Okay, so let's say this is P, Q, R, uh, right angle Q. If sine R is 4 by 5, sine R, so that's opposite over hypotenuse, 4 by 5. What is tan P? Okay, so by Pythagoras theorem, this would be 3, and tan P would be opposite over base, so that would be 3 by 4. The graph of the linear function shown in the xy plane above, the graph of the linear function g not shown is perpendicular to the graph of this and passes through the point 1, 3. What is the value of g0? Okay. So let's first find the slope of f. So we can use 0, 3 and 1, 1. So slope of f will be 3 minus 1, 2 by minus 1. So that's negative 2. Since g is perpendicular to f, the slope of g will be 1 by 2, right? Because the product of the slopes of perpendicular lines is negative 1. And I know that g passes through 1, 3. So I can say y minus 3 is 1 by 2 x minus 1 which is 1 by 2 x minus 1 by 2. So y is 1 by 2 x plus 3 minus 1 by 2, so plus 5 by 2, right? So g of x can be written as uh, 1 by 2 x plus 5 by 2. So what is g0? g of 0 will be 
five by two. Okay, so that was the no calc section. Let's create this. Question one. B A D A C B A D A C uh, sixth B D C B C B D C B C eleven B D A double B B D A B uh, B sixteen uh, three sixty two eight three sixty two eight nineteen and twenty three by four five by two three by four and five by two okay great so we got all correct hope this exercise helped if it did hit like and subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys soon take care bye bye